Welcome everybody to today's volleyball match between Wilmington and Melrose. Uh, Wilmington is currently 0-5 in the Middlesex League with Melrose being 4-0. Uh, Wilmington's last loss was 3-0 to Melrose. Uh, hopefully today it'll be a, a good match uh, even though uh, the team's records are quite the opposite in fact. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we'll see Wilmington put up a great fight uh, no matter how the outcome of the game, uh, the match goes. Uh, today, I'm joined by my fantastic cameraman, Nick Toth, as, along with my scoreboard guru, Zach Weinstein. And today, it is Saturday, March, uh, April 3rd, and we are here at Cushing Gymnasium on a beautiful Saturday morning, hoping to have a fantastic match today. And we'll be right back with the uh, starting lineups. Welcome back, everybody. It looks like we're about to have these starting lineups here. Um, on the court for Wilmington is... Uh, Oh, I guess they didn't call the uh, starting lineups, but I, I know them. Uh, so, starting with the service, Haley Wilson. Uh, we also have, who else is there? Uh, we have Lauren Hutchison. We have Sarah Levita. We have Mia Vestal. Who else is on there? We have uh, Alyssa Fruccia. We also have, let's see here. Paige Lorman is number six. So starting off Wilmington with the first first point in set number one here. Like I mentioned in the pregame, um, the two the teams. Uh, oh, that was a scoreboard error. Yeah, um, that would be two to Melrose, zero Wilmington. As I mentioned in the pregame, uh, the two uh, the two teams have very different records, uh, quite opposite records, in fact. Um, Wilmington with being 0 and five, and um, Melrose being. Uh, four and one, uh, four and zero, oh, excuse me, and that makes a third point for Melrose. Um, Melrose, uh, so Wilmington's last match was against Melrose um, in Melrose, and they lost zero uh, to three. But I would like to see Wilmington um, get uh, get a win today. Obviously, I, have, I would love to see a win in general. Um, but I'd like to see Wilmington get a set. Um, Melrose is first currently in the Middlesex League. Uh, Wilmington is in 11th. So obviously Wilmington is uh, starting with an uphill battle here. But I'm hoping that we'll, uh, if not get a win, have a great match today. Um, although with how things are starting, it looks like it could be a quick one. Uh, but of course, we'll stay hopeful. I say it every match. The thing I, that I admire most about the Wilmington team is their ability to stay positive and have a good time even when they're losing. And we got Vestal at the net with a good shot. Number two for Melrose. Lumps it up. And that is out. And that's Wilmington's point. Wilmington just five points behind Melrose. We have Lauren Hutchison serving for Wilmington. And number seven for Mullers tips it out. I think I said number two uh, for Mullers before. That That is number seven. Hutchison serving again for Wilmington. Melrose sends it over. Vestal bumps it again. Wow! That was a great shot. Wilmington, 3-5. to five. God, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Well, it's like Wilmington... Uh, here's the thing with, with what Wilmington has to do here. They have to take their momentum when they do score and push it into you know maximizing their... Really, they get a boost of confidence and a boost of energy, really. Uh, and you have to take that energy when you're scoring and keep that momentum in order to maximize what you're getting out of it, really. And it looks like number two for Melrose will not be serving. Into the leg of Haley Wilson. We now have 
uh, Alyssa Fruccia serving for Wilmington. Great serve. And a good shot from Melrose. Number seven now serving. Tafruccia, Wilson at the net. And that is number 16, Maddie McCarron, who's in. She came in for Levita. Seven serves once again to Vestal. Karen with a good shot over the net, but out of bounds. Melrose five points ahead of Wilmington now. Score is nine to four. Not a terrible start, I will say. Uh, McCarran tries to recover that at the net. Unable to connect there. Currently 10 to four, number seven, serving once again for Melrose. And that's another point for Melrose. Paige Lorman, number six, is on the court today for Wilmington. Face we haven't seen too much of this season, but she looks like she's ready for some action today, so. Hopefully we'll be seeing more of her on the court. As Melrose hits the ball out of bounds, bringing the score to five to 11. As Mia Vessel serves in for Wilmington. Solid serve. Hutchison saves it, and a little bit of confusion on the Wilmington side of the court. Scores now five to 12, Melrose leads. What was that call? That was out. From up here, uh, looked like it was just on the line, but I think the I think the official made the right call there. A high serve from Paige Lorman. Great serve. Fruccia takes it. Vestal bumps it up. McCarran with the shot over and just out of bounds. Six to thirteen is the score. And we have a substitution. Looks like Hutchison comes out. And coming in is Megan O'Mahony, a junior at Wilmington High School. Some confusion at the net. Mia Vestal and uh, Haley Wilson colliding at the net. As I mentioned, um, with Megan O'Mahony being a, a junior, we have a fairly diverse team in terms of grade. Um, you know, a couple seniors, a fair amount of juniors, uh, and a couple of talented sophomores as well. I'm not sure if there's any freshmen on the team this year, uh, but in general, uh, a very talented team. Now, Sarah Levita, one, another talented junior, uh, coming onto the court. Going out is Paige Lorman. Another close one on the line, now this time in Melrose's favor. Scores now 15 to seven. Not a bad first set from Wilmington. Putting in the work, that's what, that's what matters. Certainly a recoverable set at this point at least. Melrose just still has to get another 10. Also in his number three, Christina Fedniak. He gets the ball into Melrose's zone and they are unable to make that uh, recovery so bringing the score to 8 to 15 
Haley Wilson with the serve. Let's see how we do here. Great serve. Melrose uh, with a great shot. Wilmington, despite being eight points behind, they're still uh, high energy and in high spirits, which is very important. So I'd like to see that positive attitude continuing. It's a tough shot there. Great serve from Melrose. Number 18 serving again for the Melrose team. Solid serve to Fenyak, to Wilson. O'Mahony pushes it over. Fruccia saves it. O'Mahony. Vessel sends it over. Great point right here. Fantastic point there. Led by Megan O'Mahony there with that last shot. Those are the types of points that, that we really live for up here in the on the track filming. It's like just when it really could go in either 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 favor, I guess, and uh, everybody's playing well. That's that's what we love to see here. And that is out for Megan O'Mahony. Wilmington nine points behind Melrose seven to set. And uh, it's not over yet. I said it before and I'll say it again. Wilmington definitely has the opportunity to come back here. All they need is just to go on a run with, with you get one and then you keep working off of that energy. Fenyak with a good push over the net. Fruccia sending it over. And that is for Melrose. I believe that's because it hit the uh, the net up. Uh, you can't see it in the shot, but there is a net hanging from the ceiling. Anybody who's been to Cushing Gymnasium knows what I'm talking about. Fruccia takes it to Wilson. Hutchison bumps it over. Great shot from uh, Fednyak. Hutchison hits it over again to seven. And a good play from Wilmington. Wilmington nine points behind, but just scored. Hopefully they can take that momentum. Sarah Levita comes out for Maddie McCarron coming in. As Alyssa Fruccia sends a great serve over. Turns back. Wow. A quite shocking recovery from Melrose. Um, McCarran goes in for the kill. Unfortunately, hits it out. I I'm honestly shocked that Melrose was able to recover that. That's certainly a play that um, ref reflects their placement in the Middlesex League. Uh, good serve from Melrose. I think that could have gone either way um, if Fruccia had left that. Uh, I think it would have been right on the line. So I think she probably made the right call by going for it. Seven serving for Melrose now to Hutchison, to Wilson, to Fenyak with a great shot. Hutchison sends it out. Wilmington, 12 points behind in this set. Hopefully they'll be able to get a couple more before the conclusion of this first set here. Seven sends another great serve. Seven, definitely a powerhouse on the Melrose team. 
very talented with the serves. Sending that over to Frigia. And that is out. Wilmington gets another point. 12 points behind. Uh, it looks like the end of the first set is uh, in sight here, but hopefully we'll be able to see uh, another uh, point from Wilmington. Hutchison with a good, good take there. Fenya gets it over. And that's a good call by Wilmington to leave that. Definitely getting excited about that. It's currently 12 to 23 in the favor of Melrose. However, Wilmington's just scored two. Mia Vestal hits it over. And that was close, unfortunately. But the ball does end up on Wilmington's side. Number 13 for Melrose serving into the net. 13 for Wilmington. 24 for Melrose. Christina Fenyak here. Serving a set point here. Great serve. Good recovery from Melrose. McCarron with a great spike. Wilmington bridging the gap, now just 10 points behind Melrose. Making it nine. Wilmington, I think that's five points in a row, maybe with one, one, uh, one in between from Melrose. Fednyak serving again. Fednyak certainly has a, a rocket serve that we've been seeing all season. Hopefully she'll use that again here, and she does. Six, bumped from Hutchison. McCarron sends it, and... McCarron blocking at the net. Fenyak sends it over, and it's a point for Wilmington. Exactly the type of stuff that we like to see here. Uh, it seems to be something fell off on the court. Now that that's been cleared, Fenyak getting ready to send another serve. Great serve, and out, just out. And that'll conclude the first set. Final score of the first set was 25 Melrose, 16 Wilmington. Certainly uh, not a terrible, not a terrible start to this match here. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to see uh, Melrose uh, taking a loss in the second and Wilmington uh, tying up the match. Uh, but we'll have to see where that happens right after these short messages. They said I have troll teeth. That my voice sounded like a possessed baby doll. That no one would ever love someone as stupid as me. That I was fat. Ugly. Disgusting. The effect of bullying is potent. We will no longer be the silent majority. Now, when you see online bullying, there's something you can do about it. We're gonna take action with the eye. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness, and so are you. Welcome back to second set action here at Cushing Gymnasium at Wilmington High School. Wilmington uh, took a loss in the first set. The score was 25 to 16, I believe. Um, hopefully they can turn it around here. Certainly playing uh, a pretty solid match here against the first place Melrose team. Fenyak takes it and sends it back over. Just a great shot from number 11 from Melrose. Uh, I generally uh, try to think that uh, rankings and uh, records don't really matter uh, in the sport uh, in general. Um, but uh, if you are following that, uh, Wilmington is in 11th place right now with an 0-5 record. 
Melrose is in first place with 4-0. Um, although certainly, by the way this first set went, uh, it looks like the teams are... are uh, Melrose is probably playing to their record. Wilmington is certainly playing better than their 11th place ranking suggests. I mean... I think and that's why I try. I tend to ignore those placements and rankings and records and such. But we'll see where the second set goes. Levita with a good hit over the net. Currently two to nothing with Melrose leading. Vestal takes it. Wilson to Fruccia hitting it over. Good point here. This is a good point. Unfortunately, ending up in the hands of Melrose, bringing their score to three to nothing. I'd like to see Wilmington keep the, the point gap small here, in case they are behind. It's easier to come back, I would say. Close. Uh, but unfortunately, Wilmington's unable to return. Number four from Melrose now serving. Fenyak takes it to Wilson. Except Levita, I think, sends it over. Levita blocks at the net, still stays on Wilmington's side. This is a close one. That's a tough position to be in if you're Mia Vestal here. Four for Mulroy serving again. Fruccia, a good bump over the net. Hutchison takes it. That might have been going out, but that's a tough call. It's always difficult to make calls if you think something's going out or not. Especially if you're in the heat of the moment, the action on the court. Oof, that was a great play for number 10 in Melrose. The score is currently 7 to nothing. And there's a timeout called. But yeah, as I was saying, I think Wilmington is certainly playing better than their record suggests. Um, and I, I think that the they've just been playing some really talented teams. And uh, I think, I mean, granted, Wilmington, I would consider them a fairly young team, I mean, whereas a lot of other teams have a lineup that's all seniors. Wilmington uh, really doesn't have that. Um, with, I would say, the majority of the team is probably sophomores and juniors. Um, but, granted, I think not that having a team of all seniors makes you better, and Wilmington certainly has a, a ton of talent in the younger years. Um, I mean, like I said, I would say probably the majority of the team is juniors, um, with the exception of uh, Naomi Leon and um, Christina Fednyak being the seniors. Um, but yeah, lots of juniors, a couple sophomores, and certainly, I mean, the sophomores in particular are incredibly talented, um, considering they're on the younger side of the team. And Wilmington takes their first point in the second set. Only a score gap of six points. Hopefully they can uh, make it a little smaller here. Alyssa Fruccia serving. Yeah, like I was saying, these sophomores who are already incredibly talented are only going to continue to get better in their remaining two years on the team. Seven sending it over for Melrose to Fruccia to Wilson. McCarron spikes it right into an open zone. Wilmington clearly having a good time, despite being five points behind. McCarron with another one, two in a row. Score is now three to seven. McCarron having a great couple of points here. Fruccia sends it over to seven. Looks like a little confusion at the net in terms of Melrose. A uh, little confusion as well in Wilmington, leading to another point for Melrose. Uh, 
who is now serving. Number two for Melrose with the serve. Coming in. Benyak takes it. And it goes out. Still, only a six point deficit for Wilmington. I think, uh, certainly having the opportunity to come back. I think I think they got six points in a row, or pretty close in uh, in succession there in uh, last round. Last round, oh my gosh. I don't know what the uh, what's happening today. But uh, <laughs> my terminology is, is getting better. Um, at least I'm not calling the, uh, the sets periods anymore. I'm getting better with this. <laughs> just like Wilmington's score is getting better in this uh, second set here, just a four point, uh, four points behind Melrose. Mia Vessel serving. Great serve. Melrose recovers it. That's the one thing Melrose been, has been doing really well this match is uh, their recoveries when it looks like the ball is out of reach. Five to ten now. Still a very close set here. Both teams playing incredibly well. I think it's certainly a possibility that Wilmington comes back and takes this here. And that is in. Apparently. That looked uh, like it was going out to me, but the officials have a better view than I do, I suppose. Hutchison takes it to Vestal. That is Melrose's point. 5 to 12 right now. Still not out of reach for Wilmington, I think. Honestly, with how they played. Last, uh, last set. Is there a, yes, that's a, that's a whistle in favor of Wilmington. Substitution happening on the court with Lauren Hutchison coming out for Megan O'Mahony. Fenwick serves a little far. serves. Karen with a good hit over the net. Fednyak tries to recover, but is unable to save that from, from hitting the floor. Wilmington now eight behind. Certainly not out of reach. Solid serve from Melrose the there. Looks like a little confusion up at the net. In Wilmington, uh, communication really is key in volleyball. It's tricky at the net. Now a 10 point deficit for Wilmington. Great recovery from Wilmington. That's very good to see. That's out. There we go. That's uh, 7 to 16 now. Melrose leading, but Wilmington still certainly playing well. And a substitution for both teams. Uh, looks like Alyssa Frucci is coming out. And in her place is... Is that Sarah Levita, I think? Yes. McCarran serves. Solid serve. And that's 
lights out. But close. Number one for Melrose serving now. Melrose with a 10 point lead. And that's out, making it nine. Nine point lead here. Hopefully, Wilmington can continue to bridge the gap here. Certainly not over yet. Melrose needs eight points before the set's over, so. Great serve from Kenley Wilson. O'Mahony takes it and sends it over. Great, great hit. Ten point deficit for Wilmington here. Melrose with another substitution. Vestal takes it. Fednyak sends it over. And takes it again. Haley Wilson now hitting it. And I think that was one too many hits there for Melrose. Bringing the point difference now to nine points? Or is that ten? That looks like uh, a nine point difference now. As Lauren Hutchison serves for Wilmington. There is a whistle there. Ten point difference now. Hopefully Wilmington will go on a run like they did uh, last set. Again, some more confusion at the net. I think Wilmington certainly has the talent. I mean, they have the great serves. They have the smart recoveries. I think the only thing they're lacking is communication in a lot of these instances. And obviously, um, it's a tough one there. Um, obviously, that's tough to tough to train and practice. But I think if Wilmington's uh, communication is just a little bit better, it could have. Um, they could be uh, having some better luck here. And that's a point for Melrose. It's a tough one there. Wilmington is still certainly playing well. I mean, I've said it several times this match, and I'll say it again. These scores certainly don't reflect the records of these two teams. I mean, if you're going after that, you'd expect Melrose to be destroying Wilmington, which they're certainly not. I mean, 12 point deficit is certainly not not that terrible. As uh, Sarah Levita comes out for Maddie McCarron. Great serve by Alyssa Fruccia. McCarron with a good shot over. Great save by Lauren Hutchison. And that's a point for Wilmington. Wilmington's certainly excited about that one. Eleven to twenty two is the score.
lined up for a good a good shot there. But it was a close one. Another substitution for Marrows. Frisch takes it. McCarran with a spike. It's a close one. And a great attempt by Alyssa Frischia there. And Melrose hoping to secure the set here. Serves it over to Frischia, to McCarran. Confusion at the net, and that is, and that looks like that is the set. Final score of this set is 25 Melrose, 11 Wilmington. Um, I mean, like I said, it's not, Wilmington hasn't been playing terrible. They, they've been doing pretty good, uh, especially considering the talent that Melrose has. Um, but hopefully we'll see, hopefully we'll see this match turn around in the third set. Uh, but we'll be right back after this brief message. I'll never forget the day our landlord called and said, read your lease. No pets allowed. My owner tells him my dog ate the lease, but that didn't work. And now I'm stuck in a shelter. But this pit bull is ready for a new crib. I'm loving, loyal, and play well with others. So don't be intimidated by all my muscles, because the biggest one I have is my heart. <laughs> That's right, I said it. Welcome back to your third set here at Cushing Gymnasium. Wilmington down 2 nothing on the set score. Uh, setting up for the third set here. Hoping to turn this match around for Wilmington. As Haley Wilson gets set up to serve, kicking off this third set. It's a rocket serve, but just a little too low. But a great try. Uh, Melrose now serving. Fednyak takes it. And a great shot. The tie, uh, tie score here, 1-1. One, one. Good serve by Hutchison. Great tip by Sarah Levita. We're at a great point here. Fenyak sends it over, and a, wow, what a great point there. And Wilmington taking the lead here for the first time this match. Despite a uh, small point gap, they have the serve. Hopefully, they're going to get a good lead early on here in this third set. Hutchison with a good serve. Vessel sending it over. And confusion on the Melrose side. Wilmington takes a third point to open up this third set. Scores now three to one. Hutchison continuing her serving streak. There's a whistle. 
And that seems to be a point for Wilmington. Frixia sends it over. Number 10 for Melanos with a good spike. Wilmington is still two points ahead. Yeah, we have a sub. Two from Melo serving now. Close one for Lauren Hutchison. As number two prepares to serve once again for Melrose. Hutchison sends it over. Great block up at the net by Sarah Levita. Keeping Wilmington's momentum. Levita is subbing out for McCarran. Friccio with a good serve. Fenyak sends it far. Another great, great play at the net. Also now in play uh, is Naomi Allen. Looks like Vestal came out for her to go in. Which is good that Mia Vestal's getting a break. She's been playing for a lot of this match here. Wilmington now at the four point lead. Hopefully they can continue to take their momentum that, uh, and like I've been talking about, um, ride that. Melissa Fuchia serves it. And dives for the recovery as well. That was a close one. Another point for Melrose. Score is now 7-4. to four. Wilmington's still three points ahead. They've been doing pretty well uh, at uh, doing pretty good at keeping a, a score gap. That allows them a little bit of room for error. But certainly knowing the talent of this Melrose team and how they've been playing. There is never much room for error, I guess. And that's out. Another point for Wilmington. Eight to five is the score now. Although not a, not a lot of rumba between these two teams. Looks like my own Leon is serving now. One of the seniors for the Wilmington team. Solid serve. Fed Jackson. Great play up at the net. Nine to five is the score right now. Hopefully they can continue this. Another great serve. Another great play up at the net. Wilmington really Really playing a fantastic game here. Wilmington up at the net. Naomi Leon having a great three serves here. Fruccio takes it. And we have a whistle. And that's a point for Melrose. Wilmington still keeping the lead. Yeah. 
Good play at the net by 14. Fenyak sends it over. Close, but a good play at the net by Melrose. Hoping that Wilmington can uh, keep their lead here. Fenyak with an amazing shot there. Scores now 11 to 8, another point for Wilmington. Fenyak with the serve here. Let's see how solid serve. And that's in. Seven for Melrose making the wrong call. Luckily for Wilmington. Penyak with another great serve. Wilmington really on a roll here. Certainly getting excited about it. up at the net here. And McCarran hits it. Again. And that's, yeah, that's, uh, looks like a touch, uh, net touch for, on number four for Melrose. Wilmington now with a six point lead. Fenyak to Wilson, hitting it over again. Fuji with a good recovery there. Fenyak sends it over again. Close, but Melrose gets another point. Still a five point gap here. And we have a substitution for M Melrose. Looks like Wilmington's keeping their the lineup that's on the court. Oh no, that's uh, O'Mahony in for. Um, who came up for that? Was that Hutchison? McCarran sending it over. They stopped it at the net, but unable to send it back. Still with a four-point lead. I'm not. I'm not too worried about Wilmington's score just yet. Takes the return. A little confusion there between Wilson and Fednyak. Number five from Melrose serving now. Leon takes it. McCarran. McCarran with a fantastic shot there. Back to the four point yap. Got a little close there but I'm hoping that Wilmington can keep this going here. Karen with the serve now. Great serve. Fenyak to Wilson, to O'Mahony. Great shot. 
amazing shot from Fednik. I mean, Wilmington has been having these great shots where they just move in for the kill on, on Melrose, and they've been capitalizing on that. And there's a timeout called. Wilmington now with a five-point lead on Melrose after being down the entire game, or the entire match, excuse me. Um, they've been keeping a lead this in this game, um, this set, excuse me. Um, I mean, I think they, if they can keep this, this score gap, um, we could see a fourth set here. That's what I'm really hoping to see. Um, Wilmington really turned it around, and if they can keep that momentum going, and I mean, it goes both ways. When you have high team morale, like Wilmington ha clearly has right now with a five-point lead, if you're Melrose right now, you've been really leading the entire match, and now you're five points down. That could also be a negative. Uh, yeah, uh, it would have been, um, you know, that 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 can uh, that can hurt Melrose's team morale as well, especially if they uh, continue to give Wilmington points. Confusion, but still uh, able to be saved there. Just a little too far there. Fourteen for Melrose. Oh, Mahoney sends it over. It's a good shot. It's close. Only a three-point difference now between the two teams. Melrose has the serve. Fedniak takes it. Wilson and Mahoney. Fantastic recoveries at the net here by Wilmington. That was a. Man, that's so close. Now a two point difference. I'm really hoping that Wilmington can, can uh, kill the momentum of Melrose right now. Now I'm scoring a couple points in a row here. Fenyak takes it. Ravito with the uh, attempted return looks a little off balance there. And another timeout. I think that was definitely much needed. Wilmington needs to um, regroup here and figure out what their plan is. Now, only one point ahead. Granted, it's um, certainly looking better than the other two sets we had. Um, but I'm really hoping that Wilmington can uh, keep it moving here. But we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, certainly two talented teams. And we've had a great, we've had several fantastic points here throughout this whole match. Um, and I guess we're really going to just uh, see what happens here as we finish out this match. Melrose taking the court. And with 2.3 seconds left in their timeout, Wilmington. Wilmington cheers the Wildcat cheer and gets ready to hopefully finish out the set. Wilson setting it up for Fednik. A little too low. We now have a tie, a tie set here, 16-16. On the court we have Wilson, O'Mahony, Levita, Fednyak, Frigia, and Leon. Wilmington getting another point. What a nail biter we have right now. I'm hoping that Wilmington can uh, keep their momentum going right now and, and get a, a bigger lead. Great shot by O'Mahony. 
Oh! That one looked like it hurt. Alyssa Fruccio taking one right to the face there. That definitely looked like it hurt. Coming out for McCarran. The speed of the volleyball is just insane. I, I can't imagine. That must have hurt a lot. The Wildcats having to carry on without Alyssa Fruccia here. And another back to a tie, tie set here. Naomi Leon coming out for Mia Vesto. McCarran takes the return. Fenyak sends a rocket over. These two teams just going back and forth. Wilmington with the lead currently. Hopefully they can keep it. 19 to 18. Certainly, I mean, I would say by far the closest set we've had all season, I would say. Back to 1919. Back to a tie. This is incredibly close. This is like. This is closer than anything we've seen, certainly, all season. And I think for the first time this set, Melrose takes the lead here in another timeout. First year returning to the court. Now, with a complete team, Wilmington prepares to take back the set. This is incredibly close. This is... It's... I, it's uh, I'm trying to think of uh, a set that we've taped um, to compare this to, but I can't, I can't think of any... Like, this is... This is... Um, really unmatched in how close this set is. So close to going to a fourth set. Um, it would only be the second time in uh, the Wildcat season this year. Other than uh, when they played Burlington. When they, uh, when they uh, won a set here. Hutchison takes it to Fruccia. Fenyak with a fantastic shot. This is so close right now. And back to a tie, 20 to 20. I think a fourth set is entirely possible. It's just a matter of if Wilmington can get a little bit of security other than just a point ahead. And that was a, a looks like a touch. Um, not sure who that was on, but um, the score is 21 to 20 in the favor of Melrose. Fruccia takes it to Hutchison, uh, to Wilson. Excuse me, to Hutchison. It's so close, but Melrose is two ahead now. Prime position to take the set, but hopefully Wilmington won't let it happen. 
But even if they do, this has been incredible. Uh, such a close set here. Trichet takes it to Wilson. Fednyak sends it over. And so close, but Melrose adds another point to their lead. Thirteen for Melrose serving. Fednyak sends it over. Wilson bumps it up. Fenyak sends it just into the net. So close. And Melrose now four points ahead in this third set. Prepares to uh, take the match. I'd love to see Wilmington get a little closer. But that is, that's the end of this match. So close. Um, quite an action-packed match, I would say. Certainly this third set. Um, certainly this third set. Uh, very close. Um, with Wilmington uh, ultimately losing uh, three to nothing. But it certainly looked like they were going to come back and take the third set there just at the end. Uh, it was so close. And, I mean, ultimately, it, uh, everybody played well on the team. Uh, there wasn't any any point in the uh, in the match where I saw, like, you know, people just weren't playing well. Everybody certainly played their hearts out, uh, especially Alyssa Fruccio. Took that, took that shot right to the face at, at the end of the third set, still coming back to play. That's uh, certainly admirable, and uh, an admirable third set from Wilmington. Um, but I guess it is what it is. Hopefully we'll... Uh, We'll see a win next week. Uh, until then, uh, my name is Hayden Kane. I've been casting for you today. On scoreboard is the fantastic Zach Weinstein. And on camera is my good friend, Mr. Nick Toth. Uh, the intern crew on today. Uh, and um, we'll see you next week. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and take care.